Hello everyone and welcome to my friendly neighborhood. Because, you know, continuing with this whole recording things in September that I'm going to be uploading in October. Because the horror stuff. I want to say the color of this horse. It falls under, I guess, survival horror, which would be, you know, the whole Resident Evil character and stuff like that. But I wouldn't exactly consider this that much of a horror game. However, <laughs> uh, it's still fun watching, like, you know, Markiplier and Jacksepticeye freak out over things like this. No reason to freak out over things like this. But still. Uh, anyway. Here's what bothers me though is I... I have no idea if Audrey's gonna be at the right levels. Maybe? There's like there's no music right now and usually... Well, there was, was some music. Usually the thing about most games is the title screen music is usually louder than the in-game music. So I can't really test music here. Narration's fine. Puppets, maybe fine. Everything else, I'm not sure. But that's why we have trial and error. So anyway, also when I first started this, I went straight into the game. I don't like when games go straight into the game. I prefer the menu so I can set things up properly. Can I remove that one? Oh wait, it says new game, so of course I would overwrite that one. Yes. But der. And now we wait while the game tries to lock up. Fun times. Cause yeah, it's one of those games that tries to lock up while it's loading. I saw something. Felt something, maybe. It was more real than reality. I felt like I was lost. Walking through this dark tunnel and the ground beneath me stretched on for an eternity. Felt like I was dying. That's big hamper. He swerved out of his lane, striking a passenger van that started a pile up, killing seven. In weather, we'll all be sad to see another band of thunderstorms heading toward the city tomorrow night. Take note of that, by the way. Take note of that. I just had this insane sense of of um, emptiness and terror, and I just, I just. I don't care who she sees. We're not even married anymore. She can see whoever she wants. So Ashley, what did you do to end up solving the problem? I ignored it. Tried to forget. I watched television. And that helped? It dulls the pain. It dulls the pain, everyone. It dulls the pain. You can escape the alley. Go through other people. Ignoring the ordinary. So, yeah, my friendly neighborhood. First they make sure this is recording. Good, it's recording. Right, OBS? Good. Okay, so we have difficulties. This will be tough. Uh, I was having other difficulties. 
I'm not sure what the difficulties mean. Do puppets take more shots? Do puppet are there more puppets? Or is there less ammo? It doesn't really tell me what this will do. So I'm probably just gonna go normal. Oh, so harder difficulties. Why would you need? Okay. Uh, I don't know why it'd be harder day. difficulties. What's this one about? Well, to be fair, some people like to suffer through games. Which I guess is fail. So anyways, Rocket Palm Property Management, work order request. Uh, network Broadcasting Group, 123 Sunrise Street. July 8, 1993. Gordon J. O'Brien. Scripture problem. So if I could steal a lot, we gained power last night. I began televising over top normal programming. Clients requested that the broadcast radio on top of the Central Hotel be disabled to prevent further incidents. So, J. No crewman O'Brien's on probation for selling and impolite behavior towards clients. Fair to satisfactorily complete this work or we will we saw in germination. So basically, we have to do this job, otherwise we're fired. Well, there you go. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm not eating that. That's been there for days. Well, there you go. Got that in the war. Last time I stick my neck out for someone. That, yeah, I was gonna say, it doesn't look like a purple heart. Looks like a gold heart to me. Ooh, candy bar. Also, wouldn't the button for that be more so over like hell? Best I don't question it. Anything else? Enough him out. I'm not leaving yet. I just got here. Yeah, you sure you don't want to? I mean, it probably would save a lot of time. But then again, we are, we have to work or we get fired, so. Makes sense. I disabled the antenna. Oh, that's a big truck, isn't it? The last job of the day is always the worst. I mean, it is all the way up there. Staring at the sky, watch, trying to see if those clouds are moving. Okay, one thing I do need to disable. Where is it? This guy says it's going to bother me over time, so... Camera, 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 camera. Turn off those. Yeah. yeah. The rest of it, eh, yeah, could be... Could be fine. I don't see anything about motion blur, but yeah. I'm not exactly a fan of the whole... Head bob thing. If I want to bob my head, I'll bob it myself. We can't even just hop back in the truck, though. If just guys who want to hop back in the truck, no reason to hop back in the truck. But it is the same we could do. So yeah, Ricky with friends. Zip zap, here comes the signals. Looks like a crank could go here. Also on my screen, I see like the... I see like basically the cursor, but I also see the regular cursor. Is there any way I can disable that? Please tell me. I don't, I don't know if I can or not. <laughs> and I don't think there is a way for me to save. Cause yeah, like I see basically the mouse cursor and the in-game mouse cursor, basically, so it's a bit awkward. So yeah, 
Well, the office seems to be boarded up. There's a refrigerator around here. There's a bench, trash cans. That clear hat requires okay. So yeah, this place like your typical like Resident Evil, basically. But basically, we're going to require keys to better progress to upper areas, to back to track to upper areas, that sort of thing. Which I was going to say, it's like your typical Metroidvania in a way, but Metroidvania is you usually gain uh, other abilities and stuff. So yeah, more so like Resident Evil than anything. And this requires a thing. And yes, I know the story. I've seen this eh, several times through now. But you know, need more spoopy things. Well, There's an I'm elevator. Not sure I the spoopy, Maybe it still works. But still, not bad. I get. I was going to say, what the hell is this? I guess this is seeing. You know, so you can lean back and hit your head on someone else's head. Good, good. Oh yeah, probably gonna need that. That one thing out there. Oh, right, elevator I should probably go look at. What on earth? Is this glue? Sure, sure, glue. That's what glue looks like. That would purple glue. Ring me. Okay. Oh, so he sounds a bit too quiet, but I want to point out. I said 100. Oh, well, I can turn master volume up. That'll help a bit. And then, since that's up, we lower these things, then, right? Bring up the lights! The neighborhood is coming to town! Hi. Uh, hello. I'm here to disconnect the antenna. Television's heartbeat has returned. A spirit of cheer brightens every child's eye. The cry goes round the kindergarten class. The neighborhood! The neighborhood! Okay. I I'm here to disconnect the antenna. I am Ricky the Sock. Your television will never be the same. We- hold on. Did you say disconnect the antenna? Yes. Oh my, no, 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 no. You mustn't do that. That would be a catastrophe. It's broadcasting over the news. The news? No, no, trust me. The antenna is just fine as it is. Doesn't need any disconnecting. Tell you what, you wait here and I'll- And I'll, <clears throat> and I'll uh- <clears throat> I'll get you, I'll get you some <laughs> that wasn't pleasant. I'm gonna take a sec. Um okay, bye. okay then. Guess I should probably take that. Huh. Key card. Cool. I say I need to take a second and I actually need to look. Okay, so here's the thing. Okay, so yeah, I looked at the recording and yeah. That mouse is still there. I can't get rid of it. Cause yeah, this is fine until I'm actually it playing the thing. Like I can look at this and all I see on my recording hill or on OBS is oh yeah, there's just a reticle. It's fine. But when I actually go back into game, boop, there's the mouse stuck right where it is. So yeah, I can't do anything about that apparently. I don't know I can't figure out any option that would actually affect that, so Oh so 
A, B, C, one, two, three. We buy a candy bar too. Speaking of that, we already have a candy bar. They take up entirely too em too much inventory space for a candy bar. But yeah. So I think we need to actually go out to progress. Since we has stage four key card. But do I have a sprint? Do I have sprint? Controls. Do 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 do. Nope, we do not have sprint. We have just break remove speed. A quick turn. Okay. We. We. So that way if somebody's behind you could go, yeah. So anyway, we have people's names. Let's learn things. We have a Norman. We have a Junebug. We have a... Leonard. We has a Liliana. And we has a George. This area is very off limits. Thought from the other side. Maybe there's something about this door. If I can remember it. Probably won't. Perhaps another time. Anyway, so, we'll come back. Hey, who's that? Well, that looked to be a Norman, did it? Or so, this here's a world where sentient puppets. So, who made the puppets for them to do, or were the puppets already in existence, or who made the puppets for them to be sentient for the TV show? That's what I want to know. I think it's one of those mysteries, though. And while I'm here, I should probably put that in now. Just so it's out of my inventory. Because inventory management is going to be a thing. It's going to be a thing. It's going to be worse than... For, worse than, um... Well, maybe not as bad as Resident Evil 4's attache case management. They always look around for stuff. There could be stuff hidden in places. Right now, I don't think there's too much, but later, it helps. I also remember to backtrack with keys and things. Until... This also follows the more modern Resident Evil stuff with the whole... When you run out of uses, you can get rid of the item. You can discard it. That's how you know you've used it enough. Wait, can I look up? Yes, no. Guess not. Ooh, a token. Oh, it's a lore and stuff. No, no, I can't read that. Okay, my bad. Ah, there we go. It's our television's friendly new neighbor. Review of my friendly neighborhood by Richard of the Lightsbury. This week saw the premiere of a new series on the. This was back in 1968, by the way. Premiere of a new series on the City Network aimed at preschool age children. My friendly neighborhood. The show centers on the titular of friendly neighborhood. And it's resident puppets who, with the help of adults like Stevie, Richard Brownline, Teach viewers about a variety of subjects, including numbers, letters, and how to be a friendly neighbor. The show's catch all children for age or lessons about caring and sharing. Adult parents may find the message trite. Children's hearts are captured by the neighbors. Each failed furball becomes a beloved friend whose words are hung 
Aren't you afraid of trust and devotion we've seen in our provinces? Yeah, well, it wasn't aimed for, you know, adultery or so. Duh. <laughs> anyway. Previously, elders working friends on independent public access to the LP. Silver Sinclair, Al Gerswald, were recently signed by the same new network broadcasting group and production and moved to the historic city network hotel studio on the west side. The move into the big leagues of broadcasting is accompanied by Texas and Legible. Yeah, if you think about it. Okay. Um, the adults don't really care about the show, but it wasn't aimed for adults. You know? Most cartoons weren't designed for adult films, and they were designed for children. Except for nowadays, where we have a bunch of cartoons that are also just designed for adults. You have to know your demographic, and their demographic was young children. Oh yeah, well, we, we did care for the ideas of the show. It's not designed for you. We'll get into that later with some of the messages. The Mystic, the mystic Maze. The Shadow Sapphire. Oh, good old Hellfor Lats. 9 out of 10 doctors recommend Hellfor Lats. So that way you heal and take a shit at the same time. Huzzah! Just trying to be slightly thorough. It'll be more of a relevant later on in certain areas, but yeah. It'd be nice if that just randomly turned on to be spoops. Cause you know, some spoops. Gotta have some spoops. Also, I do like the Resident Evil style door transitions. Hey, yo! I'm Norman. I'm a Hello? really normal guy. Is anyone there? I just kind of uh, show up to be a friendly face in the background. Uh, sometimes I get some lines. That's going on a lower puppet just a bit. Like two. Let me show you. So yeah, he's gonna have fun. Whoa! We'll come back. <laughs> that I believe requires a key. You can tell because it's circles. Shape, shape, puzzle keys. Yay! What the heck is going on here? <laughs> well, it looks like a bunch of puppets to me, <laughs> Jordan. I like to start with pipe cleaners to give myself something to make shapes out of. I'll make triangles and squares. Why you don't have subtitles or closed captions for the puppets, you know? Just saying. Why we don't have that? Oh, it's a camera. Subtitles. Why is that on camera? Mm hmm. They're all together. Then the fun part starts. Take your closest friend and separate all of their parts into little piles based on color. This will be what you make your crafts out of. I like to use Norman because he has all sorts of oranges and reds I can use. Now I start patching my piles of red onto the pipe cleaners. Look, see, I made a ball of lettered eyes. What do you think? Sort my love? friends into oh, sure. bits into piles. He's <laughs> gonna go. <laughs> Some of the, what they were saying is a bit unhinged, and I love it. Puppets. Puppet Pirates Go. It's like, you know, Muppets Pirates thing. The Puppets Big Heist. So, episode 16 script. The neighborhood is having an outdoor bazaar. Everyone's lining up a Leonard's antique display to try a beautiful pair of earrings. Poor enters, sees earrings, and cuts it to the line, pushing Larry on out of the way and causes a commotion. Steve, he's standing up front bench. Pearl, that wasn't nice. Pearl receives a glance around the others who are all glowering at her own hunters in shame. You can't just push people out of the way to get what you want, Pearl. It's more funny to think about what other people. But other people first, do you see? Pearl shakes her head timidly. Well, maybe this will make a clue. Heard enough of before yourself. But now before yourself, before you go, see if someone needs help. Also, helpful ads. 
and a magazine. You can use health lunch to restore your health. It's an item. Don't use. Move. Magazines. Magazines are a thing. Cause, well, you'll see once we get it. You'll see once we get it. There's anything in the toilet? Duct tape. I mean, there you go. Oh, so the mirrors don't work. One of those games. <laughs> mirrors are difficult, apparently. He's having fun. Well, I don't have a weapon for that now, do I? Don't have a key for that. But, we do have a wrench. Would you kindly find yourself a crowbar or something and deal with those splicers? No, Atlas, no. But anyway, I'm pretty sure we need to hit that to be able to get key. So yeah, a lot of that. And for some reason we can't smash things. I know, right? Disappointment. It's a bottle. You think we could smash it? We could also flip. Just, just cause. <laughs> am I going to be doing this obsessively? Uh, you bet I am. So anyway. If you can draw, you can do all sorts of things. Grab your pencil and let's go on an adventure. <laughs> Time to test comp, everyone. <laughs> So when it means are not over, you can tape them. Look at an enemy, press E. Problem though is tape is a limited resource. We want to waste our tape on you. Apparently we do. I'm Junebug. I was asked to talk about responsibility. See, I'll be back. First, I'm gonna go in here. Ah, uh, so we can spend a token to heal, spend a token to save, get tokens. We can inspect this, and hey, look, more tokens. Hey, look, ammo. This here is basically storage, because our inventory is gonna fill up. Also, key card, by the way. See that check, though? That means we've used the key card. Look okay, that's a bit wonky because my mouse is still on the screen, so it's confusing me where it actually is. Can I move tokens with the other tokens? No? They only stack up to that much? Well, that's awkward. Okay, rotate this? Yes. Okay, so this key card here. Note the check. We could stash it, but we technically used it so we no longer need it, which means we can discard it. Which is a good. Anyway, we have a map. So, uh, we are not sure where we are. But we'll take it. We now have a map. Okay, so we are. Ah, we're here. I think that's us, Hill. Ah. Uh, so. There we go. Yeah, I've seen that door. I, I do like the map. It's, that's the green one, we've been in those. And we went uphill, basically, yeah, we went up the One of these, anyway, uphill, inhale. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. So here's the thing we also have the more modern Resident Evil thing where basically. We have notifications that tell us if the room is complete or not complete, which I actually really enjoy. So that way you can know if you missed things or not. For people like me who have a tendency for, you know, 
completion aspects. I really like that. I don't like the fact that my mouse does ask us those. Okay, we just have stage one outside. Okay. Um, I think, yeah, let's make a save. Why not? Normal, saved once, healthy, stage four, 20 some minutes, one token. Please come again, thank you. Okay. So. Just testing the range. See. Cause yeah, you don't need to be completely up on them. You have a bit more range than you think you would. Which is a thing. The puppet winter song. So yeah, I need blue. We know what blue key actually is. So we've unlocked the door, which lets us go back out. Noise. If we go back in here, we should back up though. It's yeah, that's how it's gonna work. You have the whole Resident Evil thing where basically you go back and the zombies are back up. However, we don't have the whole Resident Evil thing of, you know, what was it? Red Deads? But basically, hey, you kill. You killed the zombie, but yet you left the corpse there, and now it's coming back to as a red dead, and it's faster and more threatening. Because you didn't burn the corpse, or whatever. Well, in this case, you didn't tape the corpse. Oh, that's not actually a thing. However, we do have this. Oh, jeez, you're back in more durable this time. Stay, stay back! I'm out, hey. Oh, now I'm caution. Oh, no. Oh, I thought this for some reason, I thought this was ammo. I mean, I thought that was a door. So yeah, we're basically going back to where we first saw the Norman at over here. When you go to the park, bring some food for all the wild animals. For birds, well, I thought you we can were. bring sunflower seeds. For squirrels, you can bring Hi. peanuts. For dogs, you can bring. I feel like we went on a loop. Yeah, we did go on a loop. Wait, 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 wait. If we want to live, wait, how do I miss the one room? Oh. Wait. Confused. Let's <laughs> see that time, I'm sure, too. Oh yeah, I can't go back up there because it's up there. That's why we're going that way. Durr, okay. <laughs> I can't believe I got... We're all friendly here! <laughs> can't believe I got confused. Okay. So yeah, there was a reason why we went through this door, wasn't there? Because we need to go this way. That's why we came through. Let's go this way. Oh, oh. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh. Mm. You need a you fresh I oh, oh, that's I only feel that in the morning. I was trying to back away though, and it was like he wasn't having any of that. Yeah, and look how fast we back away, and I wonder. Maybe I should have did that. I can't remember that. Man, just have a smiling day. 
Let's cry. There you are. Now don't toddle off again. I've got some snackaroos waiting Ooh, back in the lobby. Snackery. Hey, what's going on here? Your puppet friends are attacking me. Oh, are they? How embarrassing. By the way, what's your name? What? Your name, your moniker, your handle, your nom de plume. It's Gordon. Gordon? What a beautiful name. I could say it all day. Gordon. I like Gordon. Gordon. Is this a gun? Does it work? Oh my, that's where I left that. I was looking for it all over the place. Blah. Blah. Fine. If you're gonna go gallivanting all over the place, then at least watch out for Pearl. Pearl? You know, the enormous bird that crushes people. Don't get on her bad side is all I'm... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what does that matter? Okay, let's, well, do, let's this. do this. So, congrats, we got this. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so yeah, you can do that. Stun them and then take your health a bit, huh? Yep. You don't have any type. Yeah. So you hit them with the alphabet, and then you bonk them with the maze. It's like you go, oh, one, two. The Bioshock. Yeah, you could actually compare this a bit to Bioshock in a way. Not just because of the wrench. Oh, yeah, by the way. That's the thing. So, anyway, Hank's Adventure Diary. I get working, it's real beaut. I think I'll call it a stenographer because it shoots out of her south and indents. Should be dangerous at all. But we'll really give someone a clonk if they get hit in the head. Be used for security, spatial pets, fun, etc. There's too much time on your hands making weapons out. <laughs> Just too much time on your hands. Eh, I'll go make some weapons, you know, to shoot ladders at things. I mean, look at the size of these ladders, too. If you got hit in the head with that, that would. that would hurt. And that was just floating, though. So yeah. Well now you know what we need to do when you go get the blue key, now that we have a gun. Who needs courage when you've got a gun? I'm a craft monster! <laughs> <coughs> give me a task, and I'll give you a craft! <laughs> Thing is, do you think you use ammo a bit sparingly, but... To be fair, eh, you don't really need to. What do you do when you get upset? Yeah, the you know, phone knows there's down? not nearly enough to tell you about the time that my friend Junebug. So yeah. Oop. Yeah, we got the blue circle key. Need the red triangle. Uh, diamond key. Did you say triangle? Yes, I did. Screen try. The mail? The mail comes every day. I look out the window waiting for the moment it appears. And then when it does, I rush outside to see what I got. Sometimes it's little pieces of paper. Sometimes it's big boxes. No matter what, I always open it immediately. My favorite new pair of socks? I got it in the mail. A letter from a dear old friend? I got it in the mail. An assortment of the best bugs the world has to offer? Well, that one just appears in my house. Mashed skunk cabbage? In the mail! My neighbors stuffed into a box and shipped to my house? Wait, what? In the mail! <laughs> okay. The stockpile of greasy hamburgers that I cooked at my vacation home? Come on, say it with me! In it came mail. from Florida in the mail! <laughs> it came in the mail. Lunch is my favorite meal of the <laughs> In the mail, which I had tagged for you. So what's behind this blue circle door? I'm pretty sure I know which one we need to go to, the one with the double blue circles, but... Explorations. 
Look at that pizza. Googly eyes, patches, stuff. Costumes gone. <laughs> Just cause. Oh no, it's taped shut, everyone. You know, can't do anything about, you know, tape. You can't just pull it off or anything. Oh no. Can't just do that, speaking of tape. Oh no, wet. Wet fabrics, basically. For pearls, wet fabrics, do not touch. Oh, to wet pearls. That too. The fabric hang. I'm a crap oh, monster! Back <laughs> All right, so basically, by the way, no oh, cheat tape. I like to How you activate those? I don't really know. I think you'd have to do it outside of the game. But yeah. My leaders to give myself something to make shapes out of. I'll make triangles and squares and circles. She don't really need those. I mean, <laughs> oh god, that means she's gonna be right out here, isn't it? <laughs> And now we do another loop again. Because now he has the blue circle key. Which means we should be able to go through the blue circle door. Into the actual stage, I believe. Wow. This must be one of the old sets. That the Apparently that only had two uses. I'm gonna trash you on this game. Actual Jeez, that takes up a lot of inventory. We're gonna need that. I would tape you but I don't have tape. I think that's where Pearl's thing is, yeah. Let's pick it up, we hear her. Just don't see her yet. That's quite a bird. So here's the thing. Ricky gives us the false impression that Pearl is actually dangerous. And that we should be aware of Pearl to crush us. By the way. Ow. Well, she did walk over us, but yeah, otherwise... Eh, she's not really that threatening. Right. 
So it's pizza time. Pizza time, same place. And then when the pizza time clock turns, Stevie enters. Oh, uh, what are you doing, Ricky? Oh, we were just going to see what's in the pizza pots. What's today's topic, Goblet? Punch of the clock. Chovy. Anchovies for I love anchovies. Let's go. This is a mechanic. Lunch is my favorite meal of the day. I always eat the food that most represents how I'm feeling at home. I'm a friend. Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Okay, Let's just... be excellent. Oh, Let's go. Leftovers. When I get confused, I eat the roadkill outside. Well, for estimating how much I, I actually need to hit them with. Those are shams. I eat everyone else's food. You take up oof space. I was having a fan of how much space I take up. Tapes just to make sure you weren't in my way, but can't really do much about that. And there's no hand on this side. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm supposed to be checking the map, you know, just to verify that, that I'm getting everything. It's being creepy down there, aren't you? Um, I mean, this would be. Uh, I'm not sure if those are connected or not. They don't feel like they're connected. So I'm trying to do that. Ah, the problem though is I didn't. I didn't go up there and do the thing first. Whoops. Oh well, I can open and unlock it like this. Need a red, uh, orange square for that. Seeds. Fruits. Stuff. Okay. Do, do this should take us to the alley. A bit spooky when you come through here and Pearl is just hanging over him. Like, hi. I respect my personal space. <laughs> yeah, I know we had to come all this way up here just to flip that. One thing that does bother for me though is that it their HP values are weird at times, you know? Because sometimes it's like, okay, they only take two. That's fine. Sometimes they take like five or six. It's like, wait, what? Why did you take five or six this time? Okay, where did he go? I don't know. He's gonna go over here and grab. Space camp. Grab the key. Thanks for telling me that there's a key. Hi. As you can see, she doesn't have any eyes. So she can't see where she's going. Sad. 
Oh, so we want those. We're going to need those tokens, too. I can go in hell. Yay. Yeah, I think the orange thing has an overuse, so we can't just get rid of the orange key right away. Entirely too long of a loading screen, though. Like, we just went inside a building game. <laughs> So leaving can be anyway. the best part of your day. Yeah. I always start by getting ready for bed. First, I get my PJs on so I can be warm and comfy all night. Next, I go to the bathroom and grab my toothbrush. You can put any of your favorite condiments on your toothbrush. I choose Worcestershire sauce. Then, I start brushing my teeth. Wow, there we go. That's a bunch of Scrub the Worcestershire sauce deep into the skin. Well, God, I know. What is it talking? Oh, I should have read that while I was looking at closer if I could have read it. I'll go into one of those. Well, 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 it's time for uh, what does Norman notice? Well, let's see here. Uh, what does Norman notice? This is a safe room, as you can tell. Put your stuff here. Duct tape. Huh? Do you love me some duct tape? Do you love me some duct tape? So we can save. We really need to save. I don't think we really need to save. We're gonna regret saying that. Sometimes we would then it's gonna crash, and then we're gonna lose all this progress. Because I forgot to save. Anyway, Oh, you're a good this time. you go to the park, bring some food for all the wild animals. Oh, yeah. For birds, you can bring sunflower seeds. For squirrels, you can bring peanuts. For dogs, you can bring squirrels. For the sewer grate, you can bring yesterday's leftovers. For the sand pit, you can bring whatever's in your trash can. For the ambient environment, you can bring a punk rock band that practices in your neighbor's backyard shed. And for me, oh, your bestest friend, you can you can just bring a friend. <laughs> I'm a Whoa. <laughs> durable. Okay, we got on and up now. We got what was we got? A mushroom over here. We has orange over here. Don't want to go through though because that would cause them to reset. Being tactical. Being tactical. We got whatever that is then. But they don't want to open these doors because, you know, level transition between areas. Cause them to reset. I think that's reset. Those? Yes. Okay. So now that we have established what's up here, we've established three of the ingredients. And that might be more. I think there might be one past the door that we'll probably need, but. Yes, now that we've established these ingredients. Now we need to go back. Thank you. Ah, there is fish there. Okay. Not sure. Oh, let's do this then. Uh, 
That's just ammo. I think there might be another one for any trophies. That one we're gonna have to get. But firstly... Now we're gonna do back and forth for a bit. Bro, please don't... Step on me. Thanks, bro. I... Yeah, I've s <laughs> I don't think I've seen anyone out here hurt by Pearl, so that's the thing. Actually, this would actually be useful for what I'm doing right now, so confirm. Yes. Okay, now we have to go faster. Got it in the mail. Right, we are going faster. Like the best bit faster. We want to go a bit faster right now, just so we can get over to things, take some helper lads, go back down, hope we not get walked over by Pearl, okay, I need mushroom, and that, okay. Pearl, I think she's sound based, which means she's technically listening for where things are in that way. Heading towards a direction. Yeah, that one. I think that's what's going on. Or you saw a block more need to go. Just saying. <laughs> the friendly neighborhood? <laughs> Spare me. Pearl, Pearl. Need to move. Okay? Can you go? There you go. Hey, that was a piece. Okay, now we need on you. Ah, uh, that's actually pretty wild. This whole speed boost. That's just ammo. That's last pretty long, doesn't it? Okay, I think we want back from the beach. Okay, we did progress. Progress. And now we want to go back up here you know, and check the doors. Much to my dismay of having enemies reset. Tell me about which doors. Then, there's one door I don't want to touch because it'll put me behind that I can't go back. Oh. Well, this is... Y you okay, though? Well, I'm gonna need that. I don't th I think he's still alive. Oh, God. It's twitching. It's poopy. I need that. No! Stop that. Stupid puppet. I feel like this is also a reference to Ernie's Rubber Ducky song. That Rubber Ducky. You're the one. I feel like it's a reference to that. Anyway. Okay, so if I want to go in there or I want to go in here, let's find out. If you can draw, ah, here you can it is. Yeah. This here, I think, is an also answer. Mm -hmm. You want to go grab this, because these glasses. So first, make a big, big triangle. Just take your hands, oh, let's grab that. I think we got pretty much almost all the letters. Okay, now, I could be wrong. Down the middle. Wow, okay. that looks great. Oh uh, yeah, okay, it'll be that one though. No return one. Cause yeah, you go down open that and you'd be stuck down there. Anyway, let's just go back. Got what we came for. Actually, we want to go, um, to... Hi, Pearl. 
Hopefully he's not running me off. Well, I'm just gonna go through here, okay? That's fine with you. No hugs! Why <laughs> won't tape you down? Anyway, thing is, I need pro over here, actually. Buy this. I hope it doesn't run me over. I forgot glasses, right? Problem low is, pro server has a mind of her own. Makes this a bit complicated. Wait, no, I think they can give it to her at any point, actually, not just over here. It's just, it's just easy. So I need to go to the hospital. Try it. Oh, jeez. Pearl. Pearl. Hi. Pearl, I need to interrupt you. Please don't crush me. Pearl. 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 There you go. I gave you your glasses back. Because they have eyes on them. Now, you did save, and now you're getting trampled by the bird. Fine, use some freaking health for Lance. So now I have this thing. That's a good girl. There we go. See, nice and calm. It's been a long time since you saw yourself, huh? <laughs> Happens to all of us. We all get shocked sometimes when we look in the mirror. Oh, sorry. Sorry. So now Pearl's just gonna admire herself in the mirror. Most of these bots just got knocked over for some reason, making it hard to go this way. Or at all go that way. So Pearl's just gonna be here. Pearl's no longer just gonna be roaming around trampling us. Stop that. Okay, now let's see if we got all the ladders. Yay! So guess what we have to spell? I'm pretty sure you. Yeah. We got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. Maybe this unlocks a different part of the studio. We got a crank. So yeah, we technically complete this first part. However map. Well, here's the thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we didn't get everything in there. Why? Yeah. Hmm, didn't get everything up there. Interesting. Kocho, you said. Kocho. I do like that. It means I can go verify shit. Hi. It means I probably didn't look Let's at open it. Let's the best the world has to offer. Ah. Well, that one disappeared in my house. Right. A skunk mm -hmm. cabbage in the mail. My neighbor stuffed into a box and shipped into my house in the mail. Great, <laughs> are saying that, I cooked in my vacation home. Come on, say it with me. In the mail. In the mail. In the mail. <laughs> I can't believe I did the blue, Blue's Clues thing. Oh yeah, well that explains why this one wasn't complete. Apartment 3, you say? I missed something over there? What could I have missed? Let's find out. Hey! Hey! I like oh, AZ! Geez, I know that. What's your favorite? No! Hot! Why are you? Yeah, well, here's what I'm going to do. Oh, man, that's gonna hurt. Thanks for that, pass. Wait, is that... Huh. 
that way, I'm out. Jeez. Oh yeah, go back inside. Ugh, I almost die. The problem is I might have help for that. <laughs> uh, I actually feel unsafe now. I don't think I'd feel this unsafe. I thought we'd be doing better than this, to be fair. Oh, uh, this no longer has a use to score. Well, to be fair, that was a bit BS, because I couldn't really move as soon as I got in there, so I was like, oh, well, he's just going to attack me constantly. Well, <laughs> bye, Norman. I want to say Gordon, but it's not Gordon, I'm Gordon. Yeah, well, that's a wave. I want to go... Shit, where was the save place? Um... What does it say? No, it doesn't, empty room. Uh, I believe it was actually Bell. Which means this way. Yeah, okay, it was down this way past her. Hey, oh hi. Hey. Please don't. Oh yeah, oh while we're here, we should probably also heal. Yay. And then we're safe. Yay. And I'm actually going in this episode. Because I know where I'm going next. So, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all. And have a nice day.